Hello everyone, this is Yari the Rex 2 and I just need to put on my microphone. I guess oh fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. My mistake like this. Alright, so I am currently playing Endless Space. This is a um Oh, by the way, hi. <laughs> okay, so I'm playing Endless Space. This is a Endless Space is a um turn based um space game. <laughs> Like the name suggests and um, this is live commentary i'm going to do a little bit of live commentary be talking about the game talking about something else and then that's the end of the commentary but first let me talk about the game and the variety of factions you have in this game um, i think that to understand this commentary um you need to know about them <laughs> that's just what i want to tell you okay so there are let me see how many like 10 different no wait nine different factions um, you got the United Empire, those are like, those are the humans, really. <laughs> There's nothing really to tell about that. If every empire has their own um, um, benefits and like deposits or something. I don't know. Um, so like things like the humans um, have different kinds of technologies. <coughs> they earn more money. Um, but... Um, they also have an increased cost in uh, fleet. Oh shit, my voice. <coughs> and their fleet costs a little bit more. And the Sofans uh, um, are like um, high-tech aliens um, who just want peace in the universe. They are not very good fighters. Their ships look amazing, but they are not amazing uh, fighters. They are, in fact, amazing scientists. Um, they are great researchers. Um, then you have the Hisho. The Hisho are, I don't know, kind of weird. Um, they just want to conquer the whole entire universe. Um, nothing really to talk about that. Um, the amoeba like plant life, you know, amoeba like one cell like creatures. Um, I, found it, I find it strange that they are actually in this game with giant spaceships and shit. Um, they also want peace. The Sheridan are, are really the only thing um, different to the United Empire because these two are basically the same thing the only f thing that is different is the lore about them you know the lore the, the story about them because the Sheridan are the fleet the military of the United Empire um, that's basically all the benefits are exactly the same then you have the Cravers and the Cravers are like let me see and um, they are retarded basically um, because they cannot make peace with anyone they have um, a deposit called the eternal war and they can be at peace with other fictions so they have always have to like you can always attack them and they can always attack you very dangerous the Horatio well um, they are retarded I think I'm going to stay with that um, they are basically pretty dumb the Sours are like a machine race, um, they want peace and shit, um, and they aren't, they are great um, industrials, um, but they are um, very bad researchers. And then you have the Pilgrims who want, um, the whole lore about Endless Space is based about the, around the Endless, and the Endless are um, gods, and the Pilgrims worship those gods and seek like shrines and artifacts of those gods and in the meantime they wage war with whatever comes in their way okay so now that you know about the different factions it is time that i load my game because um i'm not going to really like start a new game or anything because the early game is so boring that the first 50 turns or something nothing happens really you just have to research all your technologies about colonizing planets because you have different um, there's one universe and in that one universe there are a lot of star systems and oh my microphone which is no never mind um <coughs> but um so this is the universe and, if, and the universe has a lot of star systems and what you have to do is to conquer a star system to, to get one um, you need to make a colonization ship and just go to one and really colonize it like I would colonize this one if I made a ship and my game is pretty stupid acting pretty stupid at the moment but no problem so um, I could colonize this, this is um, 
pretty bad star system it's only two planets although this planet is really good um, great starter planet uh, normally it has a lot of food but there's an anomaly on this planet which causes it to have mi minus 20 happiness on the entire um, and, uh, on the entire system and minus two food so um, um, you can fix this but that costs a lot of research um, so let me see Let, let's explore the blue you can see over here that's me all the things that are blue are me um, this is the united empire if i recall correctly no the sheridan also possible so they are exactly the same and these are the Hisho, and the Hisho and me are currently in war with the United Empire, or the Sheridan, whatever you want to call them. Um, because I made an uh, alliance with the uh, Hisho, and they were at war with these. And, and I don't really like them, because they have a lot of good planets, I think. Um, let me see in the star system of theirs. Well, this is a pretty, this is a pretty bad star system. But really, um, if I can conquer this, then like I have a lot of space here. Um, over here we have the, what are this, the Sours, so this are the machine race, um, these are the Amoeba, I'm by the way playing as Amoeba, of Amoeba, of whatever you want to call them, um, these are the Horatio, really pretty retarded, um, these are the Cravers, so we are always at war with this, uh, guys, these guys, um, these are star system that, they've taken, that are taken over by pirates, your high fidelity being a pirate is not alright with me because they steal your um, star systems and the pirate fleets are really really strong so don't underestimate them and these are oh wait what the hell am I doing and these are united empire okay so now <coughs> basically every faction except for the pilgrims is united in my in this galaxy um, so the first thing I'm going to do is research and research in this game is really simple you have military and um, science so these are improvements you could because you can make improvements on your system things like um, increased in the industry and such but it costs you more money um, to do that um, so your empire your, your star system then uh, gives you less money because that money goes to the improvement so um, this is diplomacy um, so you have things like, like um, uh, per lines I get plus 25 on all my systems, plus 25 happiness, or um, um, also improvements by the way, um, like this, um, if I make this uh, research this improvement and I do this on my systems, then um, I get plus 30 happiness and some more benefits, and this is colonization, um, and ships. Um, I need to research one more class ship and then I have all my ship classes researched and here we have things like um, extreme anomaly reduction so things like toxic and um, poor soil and such which can occur on planets I can fix that um, if I research that and a lot of other things how to colonize certain planets because in the beginning of the game you are very limited in the colonization of your planets so it's always a pretty hard decision on what you want to research because you can research things like um, additional colonization or um, but um, or diplomacy or research but, but um, more improvements but that can go to the cost of your um, of your war um, because you can also research weapon system but the problem is with more weapon systems that's that this time dog does not go into the others and um, which are also pretty necessary and every time you research a new weapon system you can upgrade your ships but it costs money and um, and that can cost a lot of money um, depending on the size of your fleet and of course the amount of improvements you are going to make on your ships so it's also always pretty hard i tend to go with the one that i researched the least in so right now it is going to be this um, let's just do this for additional research and i'm currently conquering this star system it's not really that much um, pretty much nothing um, but it's better that, that i have this than he has um, everything that I can take from him is uh, better for me and I'm currently trying to um, make a second fleet because I have one over here and this is my main battle fleet and over here I'm trying to make another one um, and it seems that I can make one more ship and then I am out of command points on this fleet so what you're gonna do then is go to the overlay and decide which um, star system has the most industri industry industry the more industry the faster your ship will be done <coughs> and my voice is really acting strange today 
I am sorry <laughs> for some odd reason it is really 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 weird <laughs> so apologies for that um, if my voice sounds any different <coughs> damn it it still sounds retarded I'm sorry and um, so then we're going to end turn I'm going to see what our AI friends are going to do um, this game is not really really focused on um, combat it's really just expanding and and getting to the victory and there are many other uh, victories you can go a uh, victory for for research then you need to research something and build that uh, on um, a certain amount of star systems and then you win and you can uh, victor achieve victory for uh, military so that you conquer 70 for um, that you are the only race remaining in the universe. Um, you can also by expanding that you have 70%, 75% of the entire, if 75% of the entire um, universe is yours, then you get um, that. Uh, economy is a certain amount of money earned through the whole game, but that's really hard. And there were a few others, um, but I cannot remember those. So research is complete. Uh, we now can you um, emit improvements that will greatly benefit our research and yeah amazing um, so right now I'm oh wait something happened I don't know, I possess some units of um, a resource um, right now there's nothing going on I'm not currently engaging in combat but I will um, shortly um, combat in this game those although it's not the main focus of the game it is really beautiful um, these are just scout fleets, I do not need to do anything about those. Um, they just go away on themselves. And oh, well, wait, they uh, are going to go that way next turn. Let me see what can I research which will benefit me. I think it's time to research some more. Um, no, not weapon systems. Um, extreme anomaly reduction it can uh, greatly help our colonization progress. In the entire universe, tom tom tom. Um, I used to um, this this star system what used to be mine, but then the, um, and I stole it from them. No, a pirate fleet stole this system from them, from the gravers, and then I stole it from the pirates, and then the pirates stole it back from me, uh, because I was unable to defend it because the pirate fleet was way larger than mine, and and it would be suicide to uh, send my fleet there to defend it. So and really the system was pretty useless. So. Instead of risking my whole fleet and the game, um, I decided to just give it be. Which was the best decision to make at that time. And there's a lot of decision making you need to do. Things like, do I build ships? Do I right now go into war? What if I get into war with f f two empires and they don't want peace with me? You know, then you're at war with two empires and then you need to defend a lot. Um, it seems that my ship is done. So we can um, release it into the world. If it will actually allow me, yes, like this. And there are a lot of improvements that I still can do, but most of them are pretty useless. Things like plus 250 defense is pretty useless um, if you're not really in war or anything. Um, things like additional trade routes or, or additional food. I have a lot of food on this. Um, I produce a lot. So uh, food increases your po uh, population. And really, it's not something I need right now. So we just... Um, so, uh, so now 25% of our industry is now also going to um, earning money um, which is pretty important if I want to one day change the weapon systems up um, let me see I think I colonized a planet here yep I colonized a planet here an arid planet which um, there are different kind of planets you have um, like arctic you have tundra you have arid and um, they all are different, like um, Arctic and Tundras give a lot of research, Erids give a lot of money and industry, Lava give a lot of industry, um, Terran, Ocean and Jungle give a lot of food and are basically the easiest planets to colonize. Um, th there's a whole difference in all of them, which makes the game really fun, um, in my opinion. The only thing I really have against this game is that it's so repetitive, I mean you can play as different factions, but the research tree is all the same. Um, you can basically do all the same thing, just with a different faction and different look. So the ships look a little bit different, but that's really, really um, um, unfortunate. Now, here I can't really do anything right now. So this fleet will merge with this ship. 
Oh, wait. Select all, merge, and then I can go on and claim system Gaikon. And it seems that there is an enemy fleet right here, so that means I can engage next turn, which is really amusing. Um, let me see. This is a good improvement. I do not need additional food. Um, so we'll keep it with this and then convert money, um, industry to money. Again, just in case I want to um, soon increase my ships. So I'm going to end this commentary after the like first battle or something because this commentary is really taking long. But the game is really enjoyable, um, even though it's quite slow. Um, I spent many, many hours on playing this game. Um, yeah, so let us see some combat and then I'm going to end this game. Um, the combat system though is um, really different on what you can think. Um, and that's also why the game may be a bit boring with combat. Um, oh, damn it, one more time, hold on again. Is it recording actually? Yes, I'm already at 16 minutes. So, um, oh, what's this? Oh, easy. And they trade dust. No, I'm not going to give them um, each turn 19 money in uh, trade of some resources that I already possess. Um, that would be quite dumb to make such a deal. So now we are going to engage in battle with this fleet. We should win this battle pretty easily. Um, because we are, um, we have 2970 military power and they only have 1870. 17. So the combat system in this game is really, really simple. Um, it's just about, it is card based. So there's nothing like positioning. Um, the only thing you need to do is have the uh, more military power is really important. And after that, the, the cards. Because you have different cards. You have like offense, which, which can increase your... Um, the damage of the weapons but it get count but it, it counters something like defense but it gets counters countered by something else i will show you um like this okay so you have um, three phases you have arrival where you can choose your cars you have long range medium range and melee and really you have a lot of things like defense counter sabotage and um offense this one counters offense oh wait i'm going to pick defense if i can too late okay so as you can see sabotage counted my offense um, and so I have 15% less accuracy and I um, and I have no more um, effect on my card uh, missiles are really dangerous in this game missiles can basically destroy your entire fleet in a few hits um, but luckily I have a lot of anti-missile systems on my fleet um, oh shit I need to check my next card I'm sorry okay so next we're going to go for defense and my missiles just hit um, so their fleet is almost destroyed. Um, I'm placing on easy. Uh, I'm playing on easy difficulty because otherwise they would start invading my systems at round 30, <laughs> and that would be really early for me. So I'm playing on easy, where they build a lot of tiny ships, and I build giant ships, which are way better <laughs> and more cost-effective than those tiny ships. Um, so now I can go and conquer this planet with quite ease. Um, now I'm going to just do one more battle if those two fleets were to engage me and otherwise I'm going to end this commentary right here. So the card system is really um, pretty boring but the game itself is, is really enjoyable um, as long as you can get through the early game. The early game is really boring where you can just, you have one planet and one system so it's just like do this and then wait five turns until it's complete and then do something else and then wait five turns um, and go to a new star system like do that and and that's basically it there's really nothing to it um, but once you can come to this stage it's really really enjoyable because there's really um, there's a lot of things that can happen and it seems that they're not engaging in combat so the end they are going away i hope that they are not going to take over one of my plans because because i don't want to give up the invasion of this system um, once the system is getting invaded, by the way, there's really you have to kill the fleet, and that's all. There's no ground combat or something, which is also pretty, um, um, pretty disappointing. But anyway, the game is really enjoyable, and at a stage like this, anything can happen. I can gain, go into war with them because they want to break my lines or something, or or like the humans come to help the others. Like everything can happen. Um, and that's what makes this game so fun because it's so unpredictable. Um, so this was CRE Rex 2. My voice is still quite dumb and retarded for some odd reason. 
um, I hope you all enjoyed this commentary and um, by the d um, this will get uploaded somewhere this week um, because Red takes a very long time. So this was Sierra Reader X2, I hope you all enjoyed and bye bye.